Before coming to Vineyard, healing was a little bit confusing. Like mm -hmm. we believed in it, like we've seen we'd seen things happen before, but um, just couldn't quite like couldn't quite grasp it to be able to practice it ourselves with confidence. And then after coming through Sockham and being at the Vineyard, just this paradigm shift of like God's passion to heal is way greater than mine could ever be. He wants to heal. We don't have to beg him. God uses everyone from every kind of background and is are you are you just willing to walk with them before going from chasing after and wanting god to move in and through and then coming into a place where it was just seemed easy like it was like jesus really did mean as a just as a child trust me you know um i went through many emotions like some of like why didn't I know this before? You know, um, you know, I've been pursuing God in ministry since I was 13, and you know, you go through some years and you, you look back and you're like, you know, it didn't have to be so complicated. It didn't God isn't this um, taskmaster with all these rules? He's, he's just love Him and love others and go explore it. You know, when I when I started praying for people once we went through Sockham. Um, and one of the first times I saw something actually happen, I felt really shocked. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, I believe one of the first times I was actually at a park with a friend and <clears throat> this woman in a wheelchair, we were mm. speaking with her and she had scoliosis. So um, we, we prayed for her and after we prayed, she was able to like twist around in her chair, which she hadn't been able to do before. Um, I played it really cool. I was like, praise God, that's awesome. And inside, I was totally freaking out because <laughs> I, I don't know. I was just, so it was a new, it. yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was yeah. a new experience. And I was so surprised and it like gave me a boost, like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it's, it's like for real. And just like being willing to take the risk because the bigger the risk we take, if we don't take the risk, we'll never get to see it. I felt such gratitude that God would that God would work with me and let me work with him. And um, I didn't have to be one of the special big preacher anointed ones or anything like that, that I could just be at a park and see somebody hurting and he would want to work through me to change somebody's life that way. Taking what we have gained from Sockham and bringing it back to our kids, while in the past, of course, we taught them about, about God and, and all those good things, but. I think an intensity was brought into the atmosphere um, where we, we've decided not to, not to compromise on it. You know, if somebody's hurt or sick, our first response now is to ask Jesus, you know, is to invite Holy Spirit to come. So um, our oldest daughter, Isabel, when she was six, she had major surgery this past August. And the surgery had to do um, in part with her kidneys. In September, as she was recovering and starting to get better, she started running a fever, but it lasted a few days. And then she started throwing up, and it got intense. Um, I remember we brought her to the doctor, and there was concern that it could be something's wrong with her kidneys, because that's where the surgery was concentrated around. And we were told, if it does not get better, if it gets worse tonight, we've got to go in the emergency room, and we've got to do something, because this isn't good. So into the night we go, it was about one or two in the morning. Yeah. Jason came in and we took her temperature and it was at 100.7, still running a fever. She's laying yeah, on the bed. We laid hands on her. Yeah. Um, and the first thing we did was we just invited the Holy Spirit yeah. to come and asked his presence to yeah. come. And um, we asked his peace to fall on her. And immediately yeah. it was like a heaviness came yeah. and her body stilled. Yeah, it was like just yeah. She laid down and she fell right to sleep, yeah. like right then. Her breathing just evened out. Yeah. Then we continued praying and yeah. uh, we just spoke to that sickness and told it to go. We, mm -hmm. we cast out the, the sickness and disease and fever and upset stomach. And if anything was wrong with the kidneys, that had to go away yeah. too. And yeah. um, we reminded the enemy who she belongs to. So we prayed for probably about two or three minutes. Yeah. It, it wasn't real long. Um, and Jason said, I think, I think we should take her temperature again. 
So um, we took her temperature, she slept right through it, and it was 98.6 on the dot. Yeah. She slept the night, she woke up in the morning all smiles. Yeah. Felt, she felt great. Totally new kid. So. It was just so neat and yeah. so obvious that God had done it. Like, yeah. there was no, we had done everything in the natural that could possibly be done. Yeah. Um, and in the space of three minutes, mm -hmm. as we just cried out to Jesus and his presence comes and his love pours out and she's, <laughs> yeah. she was just healed after, after seeing how God healed Isabel. Um, you know, in that moment, I was not strong in my faith and I wasn't, I was really tired. It had been a really long yeah. week. Um, yeah. I was tired and I was frustrated. Um, and like, I'm thankful that he brought to mind to pray for her, yeah. but I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, <laughs> I wasn't st feeling strong at all. Yeah. And, um, and he came so quickly and he healed so quickly. And it wasn't because I was perfect. It was just because he loves us. It's, it's almost, you know, it's like almost a daily thing to just remember that his presence is just so available. He is always available to us. You know, if we'll just tune out the world and tune into him and just let his presence come. Having joined HOTS has been really neat. Um, having the opportunity to pray for more people in one day than I normally would. I get to see more things than I normally would on a Saturday. And so I've had the opportunity, opportunity to see legs grow out, I think three different times I've been able to see that. Backs get healed, migraines disappear. A lot of hearts get healed for sure. What I appreciated about how he, how he he kind of showed to approach it is just invite the love of God. You know, faith works by love. Healing is so accessible because of what Jesus did. He He gave it to us. He wants us to to bring the kingdom, and it's so easy. It's not It's not hard or complicated. Like we've made this commitment when we gave our lives to Christ that we gave our lives to Christ for the like whatever it takes for the sake of the world. So. It seems like a silly thing, but even on a Saturday morning when sometimes I don't exactly want to head out <laughs> to HOTS and put myself out there that day, and God comes anyway. Um, even in my weakness, He comes to heal people because He loves them. And um, He just wants people to know how much He loves them. Some people face really big problems. And so I'll feel really insecure and intimidated, like, oh, oh God, somebody else will be praying for this person yeah, <laughs> right, right now. I yeah. know, I always feel like I'm not enough. Yeah. I always feel like that. Maybe they're getting the short end of the stick because yeah. they got me to pray for them. <laughs> yeah. I feel that way sometimes. Yeah. And but the result of it is is that no, God, God's the one who's enough. God's the one who's working through you anyway. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't have anything to do with you. you as a person and the merits that you've had in this life, it's just can you yield? And going through life feeling that you're not enough and trying and not seeming to get closer to God to having that shift of where it's just, it's just easy. Just, you know, God is always looking to connect with you, always.